so the next part of the discussion is that is the last chapter metals and non metals if you take metals and non metals first of all let us speak something about metals if we take metals all metals they are solids all metals are solids these metals uh metals when they react with oxygen they form metal oxides and metal oxides when they are hydrolyzed they give bases all metal oxides generally all metals if they are solids but uh, there are uh, these metals depending upon the nature they have high melting point they have high melting point uh, they show uh, that is uh, lustrous nature ductility and also malleability so if you take lustrous lustrous nature is that is shining shining nature example you can take gold and silver they are lustrous if you take uh, ductility drawing into thin wires into thin wires example you can take that is uh, you can take uh, you can take any metal which which can be drawn into thin threads again here gold and you can take uh, silver malleability if you go for malleability that is converting metals in the form of solids are converted to thin sheets then the last one that is all this comes under physical properties sometimes these metals they also show these metals they also show some more properties like uh, sonosity ability to produce sound sound that is uh, like echo sound we can produce just by hitting it on the surface you can create some sound due to vibration of the atoms and molecules present in the metal it can create it can create some transverse waves or uh, long tunnel waves within the metal surface and it can give the type of the emission of the sound that is propagation of waves then uh, there are some exceptions in the case of metals exceptions exceptions if you take mercury is a metal but it's always called as liquid metal liquid metal also if it takes that is silver and copper are the best conductors best conductors of electricity all metals all metals and metal salts are good uh, electrolytic conductors only in molten state example you take sodium chloride solid it's a good conductor only 
okay it's a good conductor only when it is in the form of sodium chloride aqueous it's a bad conductor solid is a bad conductor but it's here it's a good conductor because it is in the aqueous solution it's a good conductor because it's in the aqueous solution here it, it is a solid so solids the molecules or atoms will never move so they they cannot conduct electricity because all the atoms and molecules they are very close to each other but in the case of aqueous solution the salt solutions in the presence of water molecule as a solvent these water molecules they go and break the lattice of the salt between the metal and non metal thereby the they, they are getting converted to individual ions cations and anions and these cations and anions they try to move freely in the aqueous solution as a result the conductivity of that solution that salt solution it enhances considerably and they start allowing the electricity to pass through it and thereby they are good conductors of electricity uh, part of the discussion in this uh, metals and non metals so for example take some examples of metals examples of metals if you take uh, sodium potassium rubidium magnesium calcium then you can take barium okay then you can take uh, copper chromium and so on examples of examples of non metals examples of non metals you can take fluorine gas chlorine gas bromine liquid then iodine solid and so on actually usually usually all non metals they are gases all non metals they are gases but sometimes the non metals even if you take carbon carbon is available in the form of diamond and uh, diamond and carbon is also available in the form of graphite graphite you can take p4 phosphorus is a solid sulfur is it is also a solid in general all non metals they are gases but uh, if you take exceptions 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 if you take bromine bromine though it's a uh, i mean non metal it's in liquid bromine is a liquid non metal similarly uh, carbon uh, it's a, a solid non metal 